Okay guys, welcome to part two of building a custom Joomla module. And we left off on the, the entry point file, which is modfeaturedarticles.php. And that's all set, we have everything we need there. So the next thing I wanna do is build up the helper.php file. So I'm gonna paste in the code. So we have our, our standard comment and version info. And we have this function now or method, whatever you want to call it, of mod underscore featured articles helper. Okay, so what this does is it's going to get uh, get the actual articles for us. It's going to deal with the database um, and bring this back to the controller, and then we can display it in the view how we want. So, and if we go back to mod featured articles PHP, you can see this rows variable is being assigned to the featured helper featured articles helper get rows method and that is this right here so it's the featured articles helper get rows method it's all being assigned to that rows variable now what this does is the first thing it does is it gets it creates a database instance or a database object with this standard jfactory get dbo method so that gives us a database instance to work with now this next section is the query what this this is just building up the query this isn't this isn't submitting it yet or, or running it we're just putting it into this variable and what it's doing is selecting all this this asterisk means all it's getting everything from the content table now this this um, hashtag and then these two underscores the, this represents the the um, prefix of your table. So if we could go and we can look at the table of our Joomla site, I, I have the prefix as JOS, but your Joomla site might have something different. So w this here just replaces that. That's what that is. Um, so we're selecting all from content, which I can actually show you is right here. Okay, this is the JOS content ta um, table. So it's selecting all, which means ID, asset ID, title, alias, everything. Okay, and we're doing it where featured is a one. So if we go here, we'll see we should have a featured t um, column, which is right here. So if you make an article featured in Joomla, this turns into a one, like right here. This article, if we scroll over, it is the article called Beginners. So that is actually a featured article. So that's that's one of the articles that we're grabbing. And then the limit, we're setting to whatever we put for our art count um, parameter, which we can see is right here. We have five. So really it's saying limit to five. And you can, you'll be able to change that within Module Manager. Uh, the next thing it's doing is actually running it. So we have the DB instance, and then we're calling the set query method onto our actual query. And then we're loading it as an object right here into the variable rows. Okay, so this is how you would load um, your query into an object, load object list. And here, this lets us get the article links. So we're actually assigning the links to row link and we do this this juri root just means to get it from the root of the site of the joomla site and then we're using the content helper route um, to get the actual the links because i don't know if you you've seen the joomla links but it's like index.php um, option equals whatever component and then id equals whatever the id is and that's what it's getting for us here so now we're returning everything that's in the rows variable, okay? And then we're actually putting that into this rows variable. All right, so now what we wanna do is um, deal with the view file. So that is, that is in the tmpl folder and the default.php. So I'm gonna copy and paste the code from here. So again, we have this jexec line, so people can't just access this file directly. And the next 
we have a div with a class. Um, this class is, class is going to be the module class suffix that we define in the module manager. So that can be whatever we want. Um, we can separate this module different than other modules. And then we have a for each statement. And a for each, what it does is it loops through an array um, and allows us to work with each, each um, instance of that array, which in this case will be a featured article. And we're using this rows variable. Once again, if we go to our entry point, the rows is grabbing um, all the rows from the helper, which is grabbing it from the database. So it's basically saying for each featured article, we're going to do this. We're going to have a div, um, and it's, we just have some styling here, um, just for phys per physical um, presentation. It, we don't need this, but it's just to make it look nice. Um, we're putting the the um, title because we can now use dynamic fields. We can use row to row whatever we want. So if we go here, uh, we could use row ID. We could use row title like we are. We could get the intro text. We could basically get anything from the articles we need using that row um, variable. So we're gonna have the title and it's gonna be in this H4 tag. Now the title is gonna be a link. So you see this A tag and we're styling it. And then the href is pointing to this row link, which is gonna give us the, uh, the article on that instance is it's gonna give us the link. And you saw that in the helper file. So next we're gonna say, we have a, um, a conditional saying if show text is equal to one, then that means they want to show the intro text. So they're going to do that here. Else, if they don't want to show the intro text, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, we don't have an else for that. So if show text equals one, it'll show the intro text. Uh, if it doesn't, then it won't show it. Now, here is where we echo out the intro text. We're going to also put a, do another conditional here called if word limit is not equal to zero. So that means if they put a limit on the text, on the intro text, then it's going to do this. Say they put 50 for 50 words. Then it's going to call this function limit words. It's going to call that on the intro text. And the word limit will be the, um, the parameter so it'll show what however many words is in this word limit. Now this is a good time to bring up this functions file because this is where I want to put this um, this limit words function here. Uh, this isn't this has nothing to do with Joomla. It's just a function that I created so we can limit the the words. So in the functions file, we're just going to have this function called limit words, and what it does is it just basically if you know PHP, then you can see what it does. But what it does basically is um, just limits uh, an amount of text to a certain number of words. All right, so I'm going to save that. So if the word limit was, if the person wants a word limit, then it's going to do this. If they don't, if they leave it at zero, then it's just going to show everything. So it's just going to echo the intro text right out. Um, and here we have if the read more is equal to one. If they want to choose, if they want to show the read more, then we have this link um, to this read more text, and you can see it's the row link, just like in the title. We use the same thing, this row link, um, and then that's it, and we should be good to go. I'm going to save this, so we should be able to actually package this up. So we want to just grab everything there and put it into a zip file. So we have this mod featured article zip. Okay, so I'm going to actually put that on my desktop and we're going to go to Joomla to our admin area. I'll log in and we're at the ex extension install and we're going to grab that file on the desktop. The mod mod featured articles and upload and you can see it's, it was installed successfully uh, the description is here so we should be able to go to module manager 
and our featured articles module is here and you can see it has all the parameters and the defaults uh, I'm gonna choose to put this in the position 7 which is the left hand position I'm gonna publish it and put it on all pages and we'll just leave this here's the module class suffix we'll just leave this five articles show intro text 25 25 words and show read more so if I save this and then we visit the front end and reload and here it is it's showing us five featured articles and if you click on the on the access forbidden alright so that's something we have to troubleshoot real quick but you know what we are running out of time so I'm gonna stop it here and I guess we will have a third part